According to Andromeda sources, there are okay, 22 races that originally colonized the Earth, the first race being the reptilians from Alpha Draconis. What was the nature of their colony? Well, they're Hyperborean. Basically, they're explorers. And uh, they're also genetic engineers. They would just colonize. They would take samples. They would hang a flag and say, this belongs to us, just like we did with the moon. You know, that's it. We, we weren't the first ones there. Um, it, it, exactly what, what, what we've done. They were explorers. And they would just go to a place. They would see what was there. They would explore it. If there were minerals that they needed, if there were other life forms, organisms, whatever it was that they needed, they took, and then when it was done, they had enough, they moved on and just kept exploring and expanding their their realm of uh, exploration or territory. And you said they were dumped here. Originally, uh, right. originally they were. They right. were dumped in Alpha Draconis. Nobody knows exactly where they came from, and my understanding is that even in their ancient history, they don't know exactly where they came from. Um, but they, they were left in Alpha Draconis because that particular system offered them the highest probability of survival. And from there, they were able to create craft, space travel. I mean, they're magnificent in what they did, and they're to be commended for what they did. But the fact that they need to control and dominate and manipulate to the degree, sorry, I have a problem with that. And so does half, half of the other of, of the galaxy. Um, that's just the way they are. They're the biggest bully. Nobody can beat them up or wipe them out, so therefore they have no motivation to change. So that's the space they hold. And, you know, the Andromedans actually consider them the ultimate warriors. You know, because we need to be free. We need we need to have our shackles that we've been, been put, put around us let go of so that we can really evolve. And, you know, we have awesome potential. We really do. Uh, we have been, as a race, we have been through so much here. We have so much experiences. And because of our emotions, which is really our strength, which really sets us apart from all the other races out there, even the other human races, you know, we have tremendous capabilities to, to create things. And, um, you know, but, but we, we need to get clear of what's real and what isn't. You know, we also need to get really clear about being able to create our own future, to create our own reality. And I have somebody say, well, that doesn't work for me, so you're going to have to do this. You know, a play god and ruler over us. Andromedans tell you that the Alpha Draconians are here now. Where? There are 1,833 of them that have been living underground between 100 and 200 miles beneath the surface. They've been here, some of them have been here a long, long time. They have lifespans that are thousands of years. Uh, uh, they're carnivorous. They're not friendly to mankind. Um, at least the ones that are here. Are you saying carnivorous? They eat humans. Yes. And they need to be. They won't eat a dead human. It has to be alive at the time of the killing. Their preference is children. You know. And we've been told. We've been told. You shouldn't talk about that. You know. There. Are, uh, other people say. Well, you better not talk about the reptilians. Well, you know. Bold. You know. Uh, why not? According to the Andromedans, they're responsible for 31,712 children disappearing in the last 25 years from the United States. These children were food. And I'm supposed to just shut up and not say anything about it because people don't want to hear it? That's tough. That's tough. You know, Westchester County, in the last five years, 3,000 children in Westchester County, New York, have vanished without a trace. Where are they going? Why are we allowing this to happen? How and why should people want to stay in denial about it? Now, how are they able to do this? How are they able to... <sighs> how are they able to how are they able to do it? How are they able to come up out of this from underground and do it? Or do they have There are tunneling systems working? everywhere. They're being helped by the greys. And also there are groups within the higher echelon that are actually helping them acquire this. So human beings are abducting the kids and giving them to the greys who in turn give them to the alpha draconians? That's right. That's part of the deal. They won't come up as long as we feed them down there. You understand? It's about human beings selling themselves out. The echelon attitude here, the needs of the few outweigh the needs of humanity. And sorry, that just isn't right. Aside from the carnivorous aspect to the Alpha Draconians, why else are they dangerous to humanity? Because they don't like us. And what are they willing to do with humanity? 
beat us. The physical characteristics of the Alpha Dracos, what do they look like? Uh, um, they're ugly. I mean, they think we're ugly, too. You know, and I guess it's all a matter of perspective and belief system. In my belief system, and I'm only taking responsibility for me, they're ugly. They're anywhere from 7 to 22 feet tall. They can weigh up to 1,800 pounds. Uh, they're reptilian. The, roi uh, the longer, the, the ones that have stubby tails, if you see one that has no tail, he's, he's of the warrior class or, or the worker class. The longer the tail, the higher their rank. When you see one with long tails, with, with winged appendages, he's considered royalty. Whenever you see one, you ought to just run like him. You shouldn't approach it. You shouldn't provoke it. Just get the hell out of its way. Just get out of its way. Just run. Um, it is not something where man-to-man -man combat you're going to be able to, to deal with because they apparently have the strength of, of 12, 15 men. They're incredibly quick. They're incredibly psychic. They know what you're going to do before you do it. Um, and, and, you know, if they get here in mass, we got real problems. Real problems. Could you describe the human military bases on the dark side of the moon, Mars, and the Mars probes as related to by the Andromedans, and how the Alpha Draconians fit into this scenario? The Mars probes, the Russian and the US one, they're gone. They were destroyed. They're history. There's no secret here about, well, it, it's taking pictures privately. Um, you know, and it doesn't matter whether you believe that or not, it's history. Okay. Uh, March of 89, the Russians took pictures. Mars was invaded. We had a human colony there of 300,000, so I'm told. Uh, one was underground, one was above ground, Adam and Eve. They are conquered. They're being taken over. The human beings that are from Earth that volunteered or were kidnapped to go there are in, are in deep trouble. Many of them have already been eaten. Some of them have already been killed. There is nothing we can do here as a race to help them. So that, that was Mars was conquered by the Alpha that's right. They came in and there's 100,000 of them there. They have approximately 2,111 ship scout craft there. They're in an area underground that is 64 square miles, known on Mars as the area of Tempe Terra. That's where their base is. It's an ancient base that they had. Uh, it's over a million years old. And the last time it was, it was um, in full bloom was 317,000 years ago. Now, we begin to train all our telescopes on that, are we going to be able to see activity going on there? I suppose that we would. I, I have a feeling that they already are seeing incredible amounts of activity, but they're not allowed to say it. They're just not allowed to say it. Nor, who's, who's going to want to jeopardize going to jail, being ridiculed, being fired, giving up everything they have to come up and say, well, I'm, a, I'm an astronomer, and I was looking at Mars, and I saw alien craft, and I know there's a base there, and it's being conquered by reptilian aliens. Who's going to have the guts to come up and say it? Somebody's Nobody in the power to. elite. Nobody wants to blow their mortgage. But somebody's going to have to, right? So, well, yes. But eventually. it's going to be too late by the time they do it. Is that what you're thinking? Yes. And so, and, and that's exactly what the Andromedans are thinking. You see, you know, there are people probably saying, well, God, why don't they just come down and save us? There's a lot to that. Number one. If we're rescued, we don't permanently evolve ourselves. Number two, we won't take responsibility. If something goes wrong, we can always blame it on them. Number three, it doesn't just change our reality, it changes their reality as well. Number four, the Andromedans and most of the other benevolent races, they don't want to have to come down here and babysit us. That's not their job. It's not their job at all. 